layers of the bodysuit are made of a titanium triweave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. Wayne Tech MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. The suit's compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic eject mechanism, too. You'll fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. Speaking of which, the new Grapno launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. Do I come in the Batcave, start messing with all your stuff? You've managed to reduce the compound to its core elements. But there's nothing in there that we can trace. What if we'd been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. It will show where Scarecrow is creating his fear toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still blames himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. <laughs>